located. All right, guys, what is up? And today I'm bringing you guys a headquarters match on slums. I'm gonna be starting this game off with a triple frag, followed up by a single PDW kill to start the game with a quad feed. Uh, is anyone gonna yell quad? I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, what is up, guys? And today, um, like I said, headquarters match slums. Uh, I'm just playing headquarters because the uh, you get a lot of XP from it, and uh, I'm just playing with my boy Jaguar. And the class I'm using today is the PDW with Suppressor and Grip. I use that class actually quite a bit, this setup. Um, my kill streaks are Flak Jacket and Ghost. I always use Flak Jacket and Ghost on this class because this is kind of like my objective slaying class. So, and you know, my second perk is Scavenger just because I like to live a long time. Uh, sometimes I swap it out with Toughness, uh, just depending how I feel. Most of the time it's Scavenger though. And my third tier perk is always Tactical Mask. I never switch that perk up. It's always Tac Mask. Uh, the other third tier perk's good, but I just think Tom or uh, Tac Mask takes the cake. So that is pretty much my class setup. You guys can see my streaks on the side. I decided to set uh, streaks that I've never set before. I've never set streaks this high in my entire uh, career of Call of Duty Black Ops 2. If you guys check my combat record or look at it on Elite. Uh, you guys will see I pretty much call in spy planes, counter spy planes, uh, lightning strikes, hunter killer drones, and care packages. The lowest streaks in the game. And uh, just the reason for that is that sometimes I have a hard time putting streaks together. And I realize there's no point in setting high streaks if I can't always get them because I'm just kind of letting my team down a little bit. So that was just my personal opinion. So I decided to switch it up, put something a little bit higher, lightning strike, load star, and the VTOL warship. Very first time ever getting the VTOL warship as well in this game. And, uh, yeah. So, something I was kind of wondering, guys. And you guys remember in Modern Warfare 2, nukes were really big. And, you know, people were loving to watch nuke gameplays. In Black Ops, the original Black Ops, you know, you could almost post anything just because the game was still no so new and fresh. And people were enjoying pretty much any product that was getting thrown out there. MW3, you know, we had those fast um, Moabs, these extremely fast Moabs. You know, uh, those really high quick gun streaks and stuff like that and uh you know 100 pluses and now we get to model for three or not model for three of black ops 2 and my question is what are like the guys that are really big for gameplay going to be posting that's what i want to know uh, i'm just going to super fast mode this part just because it is just me calling in my kill streaks running around and not finding anyone so, you know those guys that are like Jay Nasty, Exquisite XBL, and Somulus, what are they going to be posting? Are they just going to be posting 100 pluses in this game? Which, you know, I don't really have a problem with, but, you know, we've seen them in every Call of Duty. And after a while, I think they kind of get a little bit repetitive, but I guess you could say that about any single Call of Duty gameplay. But, um, you know, there's not like something that, uh, you know, you're going to be seeing them post consecutively. Unless, like I said, it is 100 pluses, which... You know, nothing wrong with them, that's for sure, but there's just nothing distinctive about the gameplay uh, too much in this game. So, uh, I was just wondering that. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do. Um, who knows? I, I was just wondering that personally. And something else I wanted to talk about real quick was something that's been bugging me in this game. And it's something that I'm really confused about. And that is the fact that... Why don't people play the fucking objective? <laughs> I play in a party with uh, a group of my friends, and I feel like I'm the only person that plays the objective. Now, people know, like, oh, Chris, you like to play really defensive, man. You, you worry about your KD a lot. Bullshit I do, especially not in this game. Uh, yeah, I, I worry about my KD, but I guarantee you I'll go quad negative. I'll go 1 in 52 if I, you know, that one, if I get, like, you know, 10 fly caps. You know what I mean? I'd rather do that than lose a game. And it seems like a lot of people that I play with... For some reason, uh, pretty much the, the two main parties that I play with, they're more of, you know, I'd rather play for my kills and if we win the game, cool. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I get very angry. And they don't understand why. And I try to explain it to them and they're just sitting there like, oh, what? I don't understand. And that's also why I have the highest win and loss on my friends list of some people that don't dashboard or I don't believe it's dashboarding in this game that doesn't uh, make your stats. Uh, I've been told that it's actually signing out of the uh, Xbox Live or PlayStation Network. Just completely signing out is what actually does it. I'm not sure. Haven't tried it yet. Uh, I, well, actually, to be completely honest with you guys, I did try it once just because uh, we joined the game late and I refused to play it. So I signed out just because I didn't feel like I deserved the louse. But I'm not sure if it actually gave me it. I didn't actually check and I don't actually remember. So, yeah. 
But anyways, guys, I just want to remind you guys, play the objective when you need to, guys. It's it's there for a reason, and in a game like uh, Black Ops 2, you know, you get so many points and score for doing it. So, just play the objective, guys. Makes the game a whole lot more fun. Anyways, guys, peace.